Today I'm gonna to be setting up my 22nd journal. That means I've completed 21 journals and here they all are in my journal stack and we've officially made it to number 22. All right, so this is lucky number 22. It's kind of like this gray toned, like light pink color. And then it has some gold detailing with like these polka dots. It says celebrate every day, which I really love because I think that's just like a really important thing to just like kind of remind myself at the start of every day that like every day should be celebrated and you should try to make the most of every day. So I've actually already gone ahead and written my name here. I'll zoom in real quick. There's this space here for personal information. I just have my name. I don't think I'm gonna include anything else like my address or like my phone number. Eh, maybe I'll add my phone number at some point so these pages flipping through here you can see that they have this at the top and so this was actually something that I really hated about this journal because I just I don't know I'm not a fan of it I like writing the date on my own I like doing it kind of like with the like month dash day dash year as well as like writing the time and the day of the week like Sunday Monday Tuesday I'm just not a fan of this because like I don't know there's not even like a year you can do you're supposed to like circle it or something or highlight it so if it's like January 5th you circle January and five but then again there's no year space I don't know I'm just like not a big fan of that I almost didn't choose this journal just because of that but I decided that I would just like kind of ignore it basically and just like set it up at the top like I normally do so like the day of the week the time and then like the date but yeah other than that I like the pages this is a very big journal I kind of missed having a big journal and I also believe that this journal was from Walmart it's very like book like which I think is just like really nice I love how sturdy it is and I'm excited to just have like a lot of space on each page to do like whatever I want with it. Also I find that the larger pages encourages me to write more meaningful things just because I have like a lot more space to like do something and if I have a smaller page it's really easy to just write like I'm going to bed goodnight or even to like kind of justify writing like a lot of nothing on each page whereas when I have like a lot of space it's kind of hard to just like write boring things for an entire page. It kind of like encourages me to like find some more like substantial things to write about. But anyway so in today's video I'm going to be decorating the first cover page I'm gonna go ahead and pick out some colors and stuff that I want to use because like the idea that I have is to kind of just like draw some stuff or like write a quote maybe I don't know I'm gonna like sit on it for a little bit and then I will get back to you guys so these are like the colors that I picked for my main color scheme these are Tombow dual brush pens and these are the numbers in case you're interested in like which specific ones I'm using 603 723 025 133 and 192 so the vision is kind of just like a florally pattern with like like leaves and stuff and then I'm gonna write like a quote over top of it we're just gonna get started and I don't really have like a super set idea of how it's gonna turn out we're just gonna hope for the best and if it's not perfect it's okay I'm honestly just gonna draw like a random line right here does not need to be perfect and then I'm gonna just draw like some leaves on it so here's like this little little guy up top and then I'm gonna kind of like just work my way down here I think that looks good I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of like color them in and I'm gonna try to like color in one side a little more and go over it like a little bit like more so just so that it's like darker so like here just quickly doing it so you can kind of see it gives like a two-toned of the leaves and so I'm gonna kind of like do the same on all of these leaves give it like a two-toned feel to it and then what I'm gonna do at the end is kind of go over everything with pen so that everything kind of like pops out a little bit more you'll see that like towards the end of the video I guess then I'm gonna kind of just like go down this a little bit just like super lightly because I don't want to like ruin this like nice line that I drew that looks good to me so my predicament now is I want to add some more leaves up top with like this darker green like a sage green color almost I want to add like that to the top but this little thing is in the way do I cover it up do I just ignore it and pretend it's not there and just draw over it or do I just like separate it and draw from there I do have some sticky notes here I could try to like sticky note it off I'm just gonna like kind of hope for the best and hopefully there's like a nice clean line at the end and if it doesn't turn out perfect oh well all right so I'm just gonna kind of draw like a line here we're gonna give like another line right about here and I'm gonna kind of do like a similar thing with these leaves I'll do like little circle leaves these ones I'm gonna make smaller and more closer together and I'll add that like two-tonedness to it at the end I don't even know if that's like the right like artistic term for it if it's not 
not somebody, please correct me in the comments. This honestly is super therapeutic because like, it's kind of just like making your own coloring book and it does not need to be perfect again. As long as you just like draw lines and shapes places, it kind of just turns out like looking somewhat nice. It does not need to be perfect again. And that's kind of like the beauty of it as well if it doesn't turn out perfect because your journal is a place where you can like make mistakes. Also, usually when I start a journal, I usually like do like a quote or in my last one I said like hello 21st journal I believe so this is just kind of like something new that I haven't done before and I'm excited to see like how it turns out I've done like a similar page to this in my bullet journal one of my bullet journals I don't know if I've shown it here on YouTube but I definitely showed it on my TikTok and that's kind of what's inspiring this page and then I'm just gonna kind of shadow this a little bit going up this little stem let's see what else do we want some more greenery somewhere I'm not really sure maybe I'll do like some little guy right here and this will be like a kind of like a more ferny looking thing all right <laughs> i don't know how i feel about that one <laughs> i kind of wish i had it more angled and not just like straight out like i wish it was more angled like that but oh well kind of looks like a fat little caterpillar i don't even know honestly maybe i'll just draw a little leaf down here just like a little whoop. Maybe we'll add some like little ones, little baby leaves. I'm telling you, a line and some like shapes on it can really go a long way. Oh my gosh, I feel like my heart really needed this. <laughs> Just like a nice little coloring page. I'm gonna give green a break. We're gonna start adding some flowers. So I'm just going to, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna draw a little petal there. Oh my gosh, oh, this is kind of stressful. That didn't turn out too bad. All right, so I'm gonna kind of lightly color those. Not perfect, but okay. Gonna add some shadow, and when I'm doing this shadow part, I'm gonna put it like all on the same side. So it's gonna give like kind of like a kind of like a whirlpool look to it, or like a little fan. So see how it's kind of like a little swirl of the flower, a little flower. Color it in. Doing that same little swirl effect here. Let's do one more down here. Let's do it right here, little little baby guy. Now I'm gonna do some yellow flowers. Let's do one right here. This is gonna be a little like blob flower and when I'm coloring this in I'm gonna kind of like color it in like following the outline and then to add the shadows on this I'm gonna kind of like just kind of like outline it again and then kind of like do like a little I don't know looks like the Spongebob flowers like in the sky I'm just gonna kind of like repeat that shape like going smaller in there we go as long as you just like kind of make it look somewhat decent that's all that matters that looks pretty good then I'm gonna do one right here I think now we're gonna use some purple hmm what do I want this one to be I'm trying to look up some like flower inspiration on Pinterest here I just literally searched flower doodles and I'm trying to see like what looks good Ooh, maybe I should do something like this that doesn't look too bad I think I'm gonna try to do like this one so we'll do like a little shape like that all right I'm gonna color that in like a triangle <laughs> So for this one, I think I want the shadow like more coming out, like blossoming out. So I'm going to try to like shadow it towards the middle here. Okay, pretty good. Sure, good enough. <laughs> not trying to make it perfect. And the thing that's nice about like doing the color first is that if it's not perfect, you can kind of just like, you know, if you wanted this a little bigger, you can kind of just add right there. Instead of like if you draw the outline imperfectly, then like then you're kind of stuck but with like the color and then going over with like a black outline afterwards you kind of have a little bit more wiggle room a little bit more freedom so a little triangle kind of like with rounded edges and if you like have a hard time kind of like drawing like the full shape you can also like do little like guides for yourself so like think of like a star with five points so here's like a little guide and so then what you're gonna do is draw these little shapes like around it Da, da, da. So here, definitely not perfect. There's a little bit of a gap here. I'm just gonna kind of like fill it in a little bit, fill that in. And then all you gotta do is just kind of color it in lightly. And what's good about like these points that I drew, they're in like the same direction as the shading that I'm gonna do anyway. So it's kind of like gonna eventually blend in. Ta-da! And then again, just kind of drawing some more of those little lines. And how beautiful is that? I feel like I need some more green. I kind of do want some more green. Maybe I could draw some like individual leaves kind of out and about or oh oh my gosh I should draw some leaves on flowers so I'm just gonna draw like a little leaf 
here. And then same thing, add a little shadow to it. Nice, beautiful. And then I think I'm gonna do like three on this one. All right, and then for the pink one, what if I did like a little, thinking I could try to do something like this on it. That looked weird if I did that. A little pointed something or another. Point, point, point. De -de 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 -de. Kinda don't like that, honestly. Oh well. Oh boy, that looks bad. Bad one right there. Not a fan of that. <laughs> That's okay. I don't know what I can do to fix this one. Don't really match the vibe if I'm being honest. Maybe I'll just do another like kind of thinned out version of like this one. A little thin guy with the shadows. I'm gonna add a purple guy down here. Just a little baby one. And of course he's gotta have little baby leaves as well. Maybe we'll add a little pink baby here. Little swirly effect on it. He needs little leaves. Little pointy. That looks a little busy right there. I need to add something down here. Maybe I'll add another pink one. Just cause like there's a little bit like pink up here. I want some pink down here. And then also like this light green color is kind of a lot like here. And there's not a lot right there. I don't like how close that is like right here, but there's no going back now. I'm gonna add this shadow a little bit more. I feel like it's still missing something over here. Oh gosh. Ugh. That is okay. This one might have been a mistake, but oh well. Yeah, that looks a little too busy for my liking right there. I do think I'm gonna add one little guy here. I'm just gonna go whoop. <laughs> sure, why not? Looks kind of weird, but that's okay. I kind of hate that if I'm being honest. There feels like, now that I'm like kind of looking at it from a distance, there's like not a lot of dark green over here, but I don't really know what else I could do. I could add a leaf here. I'm gonna add a leaf. If it doesn't look good, oh well. I'm gonna leave it like this for now. We're gonna move to the outline. So I think I'm just gonna use this 03 micron pen and do like loose little like outline kind of detailing to these like flowers and like leaves. So I'm gonna start out by just kind of like, I think I'll start with the leaves first. And so the goal of this, I want it to look messy. I don't want it to be like a perfect outline. I want it to kind of be like scribbly outline. I'm just gonna kind of like do kind of go over it a couple times and make it look a little a little messy there kind of like a sketch outline almost with like very messy lines just kind of gotta go for it i feel like this like technique is like a really good way to kind of like get over your fear of like trying to be perfect with like markers and pens it can be scary sometimes like with a blank page and like so much space and like you don't feel confident in your abilities to like make something look pretty you just gotta just gotta go for it and then same thing with like just going down I'm just gonna kind of draw a little little line going down nice and then I think I'm gonna add just a little line here just to kind of show that shadowing emphasize it a bit more so I'm just going from like the point of the leaf to the bottom point here and that's basically what we're gonna do for like all of them this one is really not looking cute if I'm being honest <laughs> that's okay get like a little more messy and full in the leaves maybe I'll add a little oh hate that hate that regret this with a passion that looks bad <laughs> Circles. All right, so that's all the leaves. So I think I'm gonna start with the pink ones first. I'm gonna do a little like a little swirly guy here in the center, a little clump, and then just kind of go around the petals. Ta-da! <laughs> then do another little blob guy in the center and go around the petals. And then for the leaves, I'm gonna do. Kind of like uh, this, maybe? How does that look? <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, again, these leaves are like not my favorite at all. I feel like the less I think about it, the better it is. So then for these purple ones, I'm gonna kind of just do a little outline here of these triangles. I'm just gonna kind of like add a little bit to the center like this. Kind of following that shadows, just a little kind of center like that. Add lines following the shadows. Okay, and then we have to do the yellow ones. And so the yellow ones, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a little thing in the center and I'm just gonna kind of work my way out doing this like, I don't know, little wavy circle pattern all around it. And then here, I wanna like make sure that I'm only doing the swirl part, that like wavy pattern over top the yellow that's already there. And that's my little yellow flower. Outline. So I'll do it again here. So I'm gonna just do a little center here. And then this one, I think I'm just gonna kind of build on top. Little swirly looking, or not swirly, like little wavy blob 
things. Just kind of following the outline of like the flower. And so again, I only want to like stay on this yellow color. Following along there, using that as like a little guide. And then the leaves. I think I like this one better, how it's a little more spaced out than that one there, but what can you do? I feel like I could maybe add one more like little purple flower here. And I wish that I did this one like a yellow one instead because there's only like three yellow ones. I'm just going to add another little baby purple one real quick. So that is like the whole like little cover. But now we're going to do the scary part and we're going to write a quote. I could like sketch it out with a pencil, but I kind of really don't want to do that. I kind of just want to go for it and hope for the best. Maybe I should think about it. I think I'm just going to go for it and we're going to hope for the best. Okay, so the quote is, change is inevitable, but transformation is by conscious choice. The spacing is not perfect by any means. This, like, should be shifted over a little bit. Like, I kind of regret putting a big space in between, like, this thought and this thought. I kind of wish it was just, like, one big one. And also, now that I'm thinking about it, like, it's definitely going to be shifted lower down on the page because I forgot about, like, this space up here. So I didn't, like, really account for that in the spacing. I'm just going to kind of go over it, though, and, like, thicken up the lines because it is quite busy in the background, so it's kind of hard to read this. All right, so this is all done now, but the last thing I'm gonna do real quick is to add some white to it, just to like add some shine to the letters. So it didn't turn out perfect. The white doesn't really pop out as much as I'd hope, but I think that's all I'm gonna be doing for this cover page. I'm gonna go ahead and take off these sticky notes, and that's what it looks like. I think I'm, I don't know, am I happy with the decision to keep that? But yeah, this is what the whole thing looks like. This quote really is just like, Something that I want to kind of keep at the forefront of my mind as I am like progressing through this next journal. But yeah, so that is the setup to my 22nd journal. I really like it. It's so pretty. And if you guys liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. But anyway, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.